I'm Karen Obrodovich, and I am the organizer for the Equus uh, Film Festival here in Headwaters, the 2018 tour stop. And I just wanted to say how thrilled we are that the Equus Film Festival from New York um, is here and um, in our community. And I wanted to say how lucky we feel that uh, Lisa Dearson um, saw Canada as a great place to bring the tour stop. This is horsey country in Ontario. And I also wanted to say how grateful I am that Headwaters, um, when I pitched the idea to them, that they said yes right away and were so enthusiastic. And I also want to say how thankful I am to the sponsors um, that supported this event because without them all of this wouldn't be possible and I'd also like to say how thankful I am to the community and their support and coming out in this inaugural year and making it such a success. Hi, my name is Pia Wiesen. I'm a local person. I live in um, close to Orangeville. I used to own Pia's on Broadway, now belongs to my daughter and my son-in-law. Um, this is for me something a dream came true to have Equus uh, Film Festival in Orangeville. Uh, I looked it up a couple of years ago and I saw it in New York City and I said to my husband let's go because I wanted to see all those movies. And of course you get busy with work with children, grandchildren and I never went. And when my friend Karen told me about Equus is coming to Orangeville I was super excited. There are a couple of movies of people I even know personally, of horses I know personally. But I think this is a fabulous event and everybody who loves, loves horses, likes horses, should come and see some of the big movies. But I also think it will bring even more interest into this beautiful town, this beautiful theater, movie theater, beautiful restaurants, horse barns, lots of artisans and artists and all that stuff. So people will come here and see how lovely it is. I'm not sure if they all want to live here, and that's good for me, but um, so I think just come here, watch Equus Film Festival, and explore Headwaters because it's a beautiful area to live, to visit, and to watch horse movies. Hi, I'm Murray Chamney, and I'm the owner of Silver Fox Farms in Mono. Uh, I think it's just fantastic that we have venues like this that come to Orangeville. Uh, this area of Dufferin County is becoming a massive equine area. Uh, things like the, uh, the film festival are, it, it are just essential for keeping, uh, keeping the horse industry front and center and also promoting the town and the area. Uh, it's, a, it, it's, it's a wonderful venue. Uh, everybody just uh, can't wait for it to come and it's in the summer so we can uh, celebrate outside. Uh, it, it, it's, it's terrific. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for bringing it to us. Hi, good evening. My name is Maria Brito and I'm the incoming chair of the Headwaters Tourism Association here in the beautiful Headwaters uh, in, in uh, central Ontario. Um, we're really, really looking forward to, uh, to going in actually after, the, after the, the session this evening to go in to look at some of the films. Uh, I am hoping that we, as we get into our 25th anniversary of the uh, um, Headwaters Tourism uh, Association next year, that this will become our Headwaters cans of sort. And uh, we are really, really looking forward to an exciting uh, program for next year. The Headwaters is a very a deep entrenched with the arts and the culture, now into a lot of the, the, um, the culinary aspect, and so we're attracting global visitors and global talent into this community. And I believe that this is absolutely a, an opportune time for us to capture this Equus Festival and really build on it. So we are really looking forward to it and, and to the great year ahead and the years of friendship ahead. Hi, I'm Mark Grice. I'm a full-time artist, although I was a horse trainer for 30 years in the area here, uh, just south of Orangeville, so it's of great interest to me to be able to see a film festival that's around horses, which is really my favorite thing. I'm also an actor in some films, so everything that's happening tonight 
uh, really touches me. Uh, a couple of the films that uh, are featuring people that I've actually known in person, so I'm really excited to see what's happening uh, this weekend at the Echoes Film Festival. And it's so perfect for our environment. Uh, the Orangeville area and the whole Headwaters region here is so big on horses. Many of the people that are here tonight are also going to be attending another horse show in the area this weekend. So uh, you couldn't have picked a better venue for us to have the Equus Film Festival than right here in Orangeville. I'm Hugh Obrodovich, and I'm a retired physician living in Mono Township. I'm just so excited about coming to the Equus Film Festival tonight. Our area, Headwaters, is so excited to have this international film festival here to draw on all the individuals who love horses and the equine experience. Personally, you may ask, why am I interested in this? I have a simple philosophy in life. Happy horse, happy wife, happy life. Hi, my name is Lloyd Chiotti. I'm a retired engineer. Having been a city folk type person most of my life, I'm now uh, learning to become a country folk type person. We've just uh, purchased a farm out here uh, uh, near Orangeville, a horse farm, and uh, this is my first time at a film festival of any variety, and I'm so happy that uh, um, the Equus Film Festival has chosen to come to Headwaters and give us this experience. I, I must confess I'm not really an equestrian, I don't ride, but I have a great respect for horses. They're just uh, absolutely uh, magnificent creatures, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, the, the films that we're going to be seeing over the next three days. Hi, I'm Jana Emery, and I'm Victoria Phillips, and we are local realtors with Rolla Page RCR Realty. And we're avid horse women, and uh, when we were approached by Karen um, and told about this wonderful uh, Equus Film Festival, we were excited to uh, become a sponsor. And we particularly chose to sponsor the family films in the morning on Saturday. Both of us have families of our own and we want to encourage young people to stay connected with horses. And we hope they enjoy the film festival as we are going to as well. We love working with families and finding them homes in either horse farms or country properties. And we just thought it was a perfect fit for us and we're so excited and hope you enjoy the festival. So come on out. My name is Sylvia Jones and I'm the Ontario Minister of Culture, Tourism and Sport. I'm also the Member of Provincial Parliament, Parliament for this beautiful riding called Dufferin Caledon or Headwaters. I think it is wonderful that the inaugural film festival is starting here, right here in Headwaters because we have such a strong equine community. And for visitors, I hope you enjoy our beautiful community, enjoy the festival. Corey Reeves. I own a PRE uh, gelding named Dali. Uh, my friend here, Helen, told me about the Equus Film Festival. Uh, we just watched two films. As the Dust Settles is about horses and young women bonding through their common experience. I found it emotional actually and uh, I'm very thrilled to be here. I think it's been, uh, so far, the two films have been uh, amazing, and uh, I'm looking forward to what else that I'm gonna be watching. I'm Helen Sayre. I own a 26-year-old uh, Arabian Stallion, and we try and do dressage together. <laughs> I've seen uh, the Equus Film Festival described on Facebook and I was always hoping to be able to see some of the films one day and I was so excited when I saw that it was coming to Orangeville to the uh, Headwaters Festival, the, the, the Equus Festival coming to Headwaters. And so I started calling around to all my friends to see who I could coerce into coming with me. <laughs> And uh, I got really excited today, too, because as I was sitting waiting for it to open, I got to meet the uh, person who has organized this, which was really nice. And anyway, the, the films have been really great so far. We've just seen two, but uh, the second one was called Golden Jeans, and it was about the uh, breeders in uh, the Netherlands. And uh, just amazing looking horses. Oh, my goodness. And wonderful to see the passion of these guys who are in their 70s and still breeding horses and looking to breed them for years to come. 
and the passion behind that, for yeah. sure.